The White House is vigorously defending President Biden's mental fitness after the Justice Department special counsel, call, special counsel report called his memory into question. Some Democrats fear the report reinforces voter concerns over the 81-year-old's ability to serve a second term. The Biden administration called the special counsel's characterization of the president inaccurate, egregious, and politically motivated. Some Republicans have seized on this political nightmare. On the campaign trail last night, GOP presidential frontrunner, 77-year-old Donald Trump, also took jabs at Mr. Biden's advanced age. Christina Ruffini is at the White House with more on all of this. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Well, one sentence in that special counsel report put President Biden's age back in the spotlight. And look, it's previously been an issue both men have been reticent to criticize the other on because it's a potential liability for both. But after this week, that's starting to change. Following a meeting with the German Chancellor Friday, Mr. President. President Biden did not address the allegations about his mental fitness made in the special counsel's report. But the vice president did. The way that the president's demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated. As the White House launches into damage control. You're left to wonder why this report spends time making gratuitous and inappropriate criticisms of the president. In the report, Republican special counsel Robert Hur recommended no criminal prosecutions regarding President Biden's retention of classified documents. But he did refer to the president's memory at least nine times, saying that it was significantly limited and appeared hazy, that he was, quote, a well-meaning elderly man with poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. In a hastily organized press conference, President Biden defended his mental acuity. My memory is fine. But also mixed up the leaders of Egypt and Mexico. The president of Mexico, Sisi did not want to open up the gate. Even some Democrats thought the president's defense fell short. And it didn't go well, okay? There's no doubt about that. That needs to get better. The report has also provided fresh ammunition for former President Trump. I have a guy I'm competing against who doesn't, he hasn't spoken in months. And when he does, it's not pretty, is it? Speaking at an NRA conference Friday in Pennsylvania. Because I don't think he knows he's alive. But Trump has faced his own allegations of memory troubles. And recently, when talking about January 6th, mixed up his Republican opponent and the former Speaker of the House. It's like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. Now, Haley and others have said both men are too old for the job and America needs a new, younger generation of presidents. However, voters are not likely to get that choice in November. Michelle. Thank you, Christina.